With more than 360 golf courses and 38,000 acres devoted to sod production, turf grass is big business in the Peach State. As one of the industry's pioneers, Ray Jensen was instrumental in putting turf grass on the map in Georgia. So with a quarter of a pound of seed, I did in half of a day what I had done for two weeks with the rest of it by sprigging. I knew then there was a potential in the seed. UGA and USDA scientists can be credited for breeding many outstanding turf grass hybrids, especially for Georgia's soils and climates. But without Ray's innovations, these grasses may still be lining the fields where they're grown. Centipede was a grass that we had, but the information on it was laying just dormant, shall we say. Ray Jensen saw, had a vision uh, to increase and harvest centipede seed, and um, it is a popular lawn grass uh, throughout Georgia. Ray began his career with the Soil Conservation Service in Tifton in 1946. During this time, he became acquainted with another turf grass pioneer, Dr. Glenn Burton, who was then researching the use of turf grass for erosion control. Well, the secrets of any crop it comes within the techniques of the individual growing the crop and the information that he can gain from a scientific standpoint uh, that is needed to do the best you can do. With seed provided by Dr. Burton, Ray sowed a new lawn and soon discovered that centipede grass performed much better when planted from seeds, not sprigs. Motivated by his home-based research, Ray and a colleague leased a 45-acre plot and began growing centipede grass for commercial seed production. The 254 pounds they harvested in 1950 would become the first commercially harvested centipede grass seed in Georgia. I, I say I'm a little bit aggressive, and my kids tell me I'm a little aggressive also, <laughs> as well as my wife. Uh, I've, I've been aggressive, and I've, been, I've had a vision and uh, that vision has uh, brought about some successful projects that, uh, that have resulted from the plans and the ideas that I've picked up. And I've uh, been a lot more studious since I got out of college than I was when I was in college. Ray continued to rely on UGA College of Agriculture research data to simplify the establishment of centipede grass. Before long, requests for the seed began pouring in from across the southern U.S. That made me want to do something in my community because Tifton, Georgia had certainly done a lot for me. Ray worked with several implement fabricators to develop large combines fitted with special heads and vacuums for harvesting centipede grass seed. I'm the poorest mechanic there is in the world, but I know what I want. And I would had a machinist that understood my language, and therefore he brought those things into the position that they, where we could utilize them as we needed them. I, I became a pretty good mechanical engineer after I spent a few dollars on it. To market centipede grass, Ray didn't rely on requests from customers. He literally hit the pavement, driving across the state, selling centipede grass. In 1954, the seed got a major marketing boost when Sears began featuring centipede grass in their mail order catalog. Work like heck, water, and fertilize. And that's the secret to growing grass. To help promote improved Bermuda grass, Ray formed Southern Turf Nurseries. He also founded Tifton Seed Farms and Hall and Jensen Farms. Through his companies, Ray pushed the use of these grasses on golf courses around the world. Ray Jensen is a driven individual. Uh, he has a vision for what can be and seeks to make that happen. And he has made it happen. He continues to make it happen, uh, even in his uh, 80s now. He is still very active in the life of the community. He is called on for his wisdom, for his experience, and uh, he gladly shares that with the people of this community. He has been active in the Tifton Tift County Chamber of Commerce, received both Wall of Fame and Stafford Awards. 
He has also held leadership roles on the Tiff County Airport Authority, the Tiff County Development Authority, the First Community Bank Board of Directors, and was president of the Interstate Motor Hotels. And Ray was a founder in the Tiff Regional Medical Foundation and remains active in personally funding scholarships. So I hope that they will say, well, he, he brought something to the table and it worked and it was helpful to the industry and look where we are now. Because I think, I hope in 30 years from now, we'll be even further than we are right now. Ray's efforts have truly improved the state of Georgia agriculture. The technology Ray developed is still being used in the turf grass industry today. His efforts help put centipede grass on our lawns and Bermuda grass on our golf courses. And now here I'm being inducted to the Ag Hall of Fame. I don't believe there's any words in my vocabulary that's going to be able to tell you how proud I am of this. The UGA College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences Alumni Association proudly inducts Ray Jensen into the Georgia Agricultural Hall of Fame.